Hey Tankers, Bonsai Duck here. Today we have a submission from Bitwise. He is from the GFLC clan. He is in his T3485M along with his platoon mates uh, Talon from the GFLC and Mad Dog from Mad Dog the First from GFLC who is in his EZ8 and Talon is in their buggy. Um, they are on Mountain Pass in a standard battle tier 6, pure tier 6 game. Uh, they spawned over in the southeast and now to be looking to head over to the western side of the map uh, Bitwise sent me this three three videos, all having to do with teamwork. So um, we're gonna watch them and see what we can find out. Anyway, Bitwise, take it away. He's cruising across the middle, looking for the MT25, maybe the T50-2. Mad Dog the first goes around the horn. E forty three takes a shot from somebody. We have the MT twenty five, and here comes Bitwise. He's going to come up here. Now, one thing about this tank is it doesn't have really great gun depression, <laughs> unlike the say the VK thirty o two M there. Uh, so you have to expose yourself quite a bit to get some shots. So I'm not sure I would have push it that hard but all right so we've got the first set of clients over here at the rock bk 3002m oh running drive-by shot on a kb2 nicely done the 3002m is down pop a shot into the t3485 and take one from major thunder junk Yeah, T-345. It's, I mean, it's a good little tank, don't get me wrong. It's just... Uh, it's terrible gun depression. <laughs> nice shot into the 301D. Here comes Mr. Thunder, Major Thunder Junk again. He's feeling he wants some. But you've got some support in the fact that you've got Mad Dog the first behind you. Who's in his EZ-8, and he really likes that EZ-8. So, support, support, support. You get the um, Talon in the buggy along with a couple other tanks over to your right. Mad Dog the first coming up on your left. And uh, these two KV2s just don't know what to do. And there's Talon. Oh, a ricochet. There goes the 50 2. Nice shot from Talon taking out that KB2, and you, you get the other one. <laughs> now the, here's the decision point. Do you push around this corner? You've won your flank. The base doesn't seem to be under a lot of stress right now. All right. So do we push around the corner, or do we kind of go back through the middle? Because this is a shooting gallery right here. I mean, it's just a, it's, it's a firing. It's just a, these guys line up here or sit up here, and they can just slowly tear you apart. But you do have a couple tanks down there to keep them busy. So in which case, should we do some of the fire that you get? But you're going to turn around and go the other way. I'm assuming you guys might have comms with, uh, and maybe you've discussed this, that you're going to push around this way while they push around that way. Oh, T3485, I see. He's pushed through. Oh, just bad dispersion. And then there's an RNG shot. <laughs> we'll call it RNG. And yeah, that was bad. <laughs> okay, so the fourth time, and we hit. Yes, nicely done. So we got what? An easy eight. That's all that's left. And uh, that would be it. Okay, well, second class, duelist, fighter, fire for effect, 34,101 in credits, 1,354 in experience. 
You got a 1,749 and four kills for a base XP of 934. Um, Talon, you got 1,020. Mad Dog, 869. Expensive game for you. You must have worked your way through the gold, and then uh, you got some base experience. But all in all, uh, you know, good teamwork right there, holding up that, that at the rock or the heavy fighting point. Um, with Mad Dog on on your right and and Talon and a group of tanks on your left to to hold those tanks back and and not allow them to really get entrenched there where they could really make it a good battle. So, uh, nice job. That was teamwork. Now let's see what the other video shows us. Okay, so in the first video we saw a group of players, a team, a platoon working together in the same area trying to accomplish the same goal. In this video, we're going to see a team accomplish the same goal but in from different angles of attack right so we have bitwise in his t3485 we have mad dog the first in his 40 tp and we have talon in the buggy they're on mines they're in a tier 7 tier 6 tier 5 game so mid-tier mediums and they're spawning from the north so bitwise take it away Immediately, Bitwise says, "Okay, I'm going over here to the to the island." Okay, well, T3485 doesn't really isn't really known for its speed, so getting up to the to the hill is probably not going to work too well, right? He's not going to beat the oh Chaffee up there, or you know, maybe the Crusader even, you know, the SP1C. So that's not an advantage. Um. Gun depression wise, can't really poke over the hills easily without taking a lot of damage. So, I think uh, a good decision here. Whereas Mad Dog, who's in a tank that has some gun depression, has some armor, he can go and work that hill. And then you got the buggy as support. So, we've got three different players in three different locations that are trying to support three different, you know, support the same area. Now, Bitwise takes a little shot from the LFE. I hate those. I mean, I, I have that TD or that SPG. I enjoy it, but <laughs> I hate it when they zero in on you. We've got the first target, an M4A1. And there's a Crusader. So what we're doing here is what what it, what Bitwise is doing here is he's he's causing crossfires as these guys push out onto the 40 TP or say the Panzer 4H over there. They have to expose themselves to Bitwise. The problem with this type of teamwork is that you're all alone. <laughs> you do have a T1 Heavy over here, which is good. But the chances of those guys giving you support, Mad Dog and, and uh, Talon, are, are far and few between because they're constantly focused on what's going on in front of them. Oh, there's RNG there. Oh, and the T1 Heavy is down. <clears throat> so again, now you're back being all by yourself. <clears throat> oh, nice work. Nice work into the back of the M4A1. I don't think I don't think I don't see how that shot would have got you spotted. I think there's somebody close, and there he is, the buggy. All right, nice. You were within his reload. You were able to get two shots in his one. That was nice. Bouncing RBFM, take him down. Nice work. And Mr. Buggy is shooting the gold. And uh, you're forcing him back. That's good. M44. Those are almost as bad as the leaf blowers. Still looking for the buggy. 
What? And look at where he ended up. I mean, he went clear over there. <laughs> now he's taking some, and he's down. All right. So, and it looks like, uh, yeah, that was Talon that got that one. All right. So Talon is able to support the, 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 the waterway here, the inlet, where you have Mad Dog over there supporting the hill, and you're giving them crossfire shots, so. And there goes Mad Dog taking care of the SP-1C. So, it's worked out well. Alright, so Mad Dog is moving in on his 40 TP along with the Stug 3. Looks like Talon is starting to come up around the corner for him. There's the BDR. And again, lit him up. Now he's in a crossfire. He's getting shots from several different directions. Nice shot. And that's it. Okay, so now we got a Steyr, a Hellcat, and an M44. So now it's now it's the chance where Mad Dog can give you the support. Because now he'll be he's up in Overwatch, up on top on top, on top of the, the castle area, and now you can start moving in. There's the Steyr way over there. And he's down, so that leaves the M44. And he's making, oh, he's behind the building. Artie's in on him. And he's down. I'm not sure if he semi-destroyed himself <laughs> anyway that's a victory all right so in that one you got a second class bruiser fighter and 36,119 in credits 1,257 in experience you're able to do 2,030 over there on the island and get two kills for base xp of 867 so i mean that was that's really good i mean that's what number two in damage um you were pretty much alone over there but you know again causing that crossfire 15 shots were fired, 12 hit, 12 penetrated, 1,270 from 300 meters out. You did block 350, and you managed to spot for 35. Made some decent credits and made some decent experience. So again, sometimes teamwork means going to the same place. Sometimes teamwork means separating and being coming at the same, same objective from different angles. Let's see what number three is. All right, so here we are, number three. And again, we have Bitwise from GFLC. He is in his T3485. We have Talon from GFLC, who's in his buggy, and Mad Dog the First from GFLC, who's in his 40 TP. They're on Stadinsky in a standard battle in a tier seven, tier six, tier five game. So again, mid tier, medium. So different types of teamwork. A team that works together in the same area, trying to accomplish the same tasks. The team that tackles the same task from different angles to accomplish the same goal. And then there's the, the teamwork that I I guess you could put, you could say, taking one for the team. Um, so in this one, Bitwise and, and his teammates, they spawn over on the, on the west side and they're headed down south. Um, Bitwise obviously is the tank with the speed compared to the other two tanks and understands... Well, he's got he's got to, he's got to take the ground. He's got to get there and, and hold the ground for his teammates. So, bitwise, let's go. But he's loaded up the gold. And in Stadinsky, and I don't play this this side very. I don't play the south very often. But it is it, it's you the team the ones that can control this little ditch area right and through here can generally if they can hold it and can control it they can generally win this flank. We've got an AMX 1375, an ESL ELC BIS, and Bitwise here. And he's coming in and fires at the T3045 Anim, who hits back with some HE. And then it's a 
Rammed show. Okay, so now you got two tanks just ramming into each other. But the other tank took the most damage, I believe. <laughs> so now Bitwise is he's taking control of this of this portion of the ditch. But now we got a PZ4S that's saying, "Hey, I want I want control." He's still waiting for his teammates to catch up to him. So he is losing. He's taking the hits to allow his teammates to get there. He could have fallen back. He could have not pushed through those buildings and allowed the teammate, his, the, the opponents, to take the, the control of the ditch. But instead, he chose to, he had to take one for the team and, and jump in there. So he's battling with this T30, this PZ4. Us, and then uh, luckily somebody comes in and helps him. Now we've got all sorts of other tanks here, um, and it's you know, but at least his team is showing up now. So I, he's now pushing in to try to get some shots on these heavy tanks down here in the factory, along with the ELC. Not seeing anything there. All right, there's a T3045. Bounces a shot off of that. And oh my god. Yes. KV2R sneaks in beside behind him. Alright, well, Bill Wise, you get a third class out of that, and you got fire for effect, twenty-five thousand two hundred and thirty in credits, nine twelve in experience, because you did the you know what I like to refer to as taking one for the team. You you went up there and expended your hit points. To hold that position for your team to get in there behind you, so you know, in a form, in a formal, in a way, that is teamwork. Uh, it's it's the sacrifice. It's 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 the person who lays it out on the line to allow the team to to, to achieve the the objective. And in which in which case, the objective was to be victorious in the game, right? Which your team was. And I mean, uh, you know. It, it, Mad Dog went on to have a heck of a game as as well as as Talon, and um, you know a lot of that was because you 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 went in there and you and you took one for the team. So uh, you did uh, nine hundred seventy damage, got one kill for base XP at six twenty nine. Seven shots were fired, six hit, four penetrated. Uh, you did block three fifteen, and you did spot for two forty. I think you would add a heck of a game had that KB two R not shown up there. But he, you were not the only one that he he managed to nuke. I think he nuked two or three more before your team was able to take him down. Uh, of course, you lost some credits and, and and not a great amount of experience. But again, that was teamwork definition number three: taking one for the team. So, just to recap: teamwork, working together to achieve the same goal. Teamwork, working from working to achieve the same goal from different angles of attack. And then there's teamwork where you're taking one for the team to achieve the same goal. So anyway, that's Bitwise and Mad Dog the First and, and Talon uh, all showing us some teamwork. If you like the video, hit the like button. Keep those videos coming. I greatly appreciate it. Please remember to hit the, the subscribe button on your way out. This is Bonsai Duck out.